Hey guys, this is a little Chicago uh, cabinet lock that Wayne Winton sent to me. He didn't send me a key, but these are pretty simple uh, devices. Uh, just kind of hang in there. One screw holds it in place inside of the cabinet. And then when you put the key in and turn it, it'll retract this locking pawl. And then, uh, then you can open up the drawers. There's a locking bar that this uh, secures. But pretty simple devices. A couple of ways to beat these. Well, the most common way to beat a file cabinet lock is to have a knife. Now this one is shielded, which I gotta tell you is very unusual. But ideally, you just take your knife, if we can get your camera to focus here, take the knife, shove it all the way in, and what you're trying to do is get back there to this locking bar. And on the unshielded cabinet lock, you just stick it in and just pull down, and it'll retract this locking bar. On this one, it's one of the rare shielded ones, so we gotta go the hard way. So we're gonna pick this one. There are only five pins, and usually they're very simple. There's usually like one security pin, and then the rest of them are standards, and they snap into place pretty readily. So, a little bit of tension, and you can use a lot of tension on these if you want to. Like I said, they're not too picky. They're not exactly medicos. Okay, five and four are in. You heard them click. Nice solid clicks. Three is all the way on the bottom. Two, I got a nice deep fault set. And now I'm looking for a spool, and there he is, open. So you can see the retracting, the locking paw just pulls down, flush with the body of the lock, and uh, you're in the file cabinet. Anyway, fellas, thank you for your time. Stay safe, stay legal. And Wayne, thank you, sir, for the lock. Appreciate it.